busy. Dude. You can't be laying down like a little monster and expect me to not just start rolling. Did one take one marker? Lizzie left for five minutes, so I started taking photos of my balls on her phone. Inappropriate! I'd like to report this to my union. What <laughs> <laughs> a mess. You'll thank me later. Hmm. You were the one that said roll. I know. And here's the deal. It's when we're at our worst that our show is at its best. I don't so know about I figured that. we just start rolling rolling i honestly feel like i'm gonna barf everywhere yeah can you unpack that for me after we introduce the show i don't know what's going on with me well you want me to intro the show hello you guys and welcome to another episode of the sip i'm riley adams of course joined by elizabeth i'm okay hello hello welcome back um okay lizzie yeah wrap it up i'm trying it's like i have so many pimples right now can you see that in in your in our big deal just lie to her I can't see that far, Chris, oh. and I fucking hate that you don't respect my Sorry. blindness. Sorry. Blind people have feelings too. <laughs> Lizzie. Too far? Too far. You <laughs> took pictures of your balls on my phone. I know, but that. No. I'm d- leaking them. <laughs> don't go look at them. Now. Oh my God. What? I'm literally sending those to the media. <laughs> Okay, Chris, last, one last to. demand. One last what? demand. I want him to be checking in. Oh. Good God, this I is so many keys in my pocket. I want to what am I, a janitor? <laughs> I want Chris to be checking in on what the back. You, can I ask I feel can like you've offended request? a lot of communities in the first five <laughs> seconds of this podcast. There's nothing wrong Leave with being a janitor. Me. And people I are actually I didn't say there's blind. anything wrong with being a janitor, but I do not enjoy sitting on my keys. Okay. And they have a lot of keys, those janitors. And Anyways. you have an air tag. Very controversial. In case I go missing, I'm going to shove that up my butt. Well, no, Here's you have a... Fu- the, oh, hold my on. God. You need... Chris. Chris. Yeah. He doesn't even have his headset on. I, wouldn't, I don't need to hear from him. I just need a nod. Yes, ma'am. First... Well, you don't even know what I'm asking. <sighs> So here's the deal. Yes. Um, can you be checking in on the Met Gala and let me know when Kim Kardashian arrives and what the <laughs> fuck she's wearing for the love of God? Is that just like on Twitter or is that on No, we don't know. If we knew, we would do it ourselves. Oh, okay. You just need to check her Instagram every few minutes. It's not going to be on her Instagram. Okay, check Vogue's Instagram every yeah. few minutes. Check Vogue's Instagram. Just keep Vogue live on. It's Met Gala week. Hello. Welcome to our brutally honest fashion review of the Met Gala. The fashion review from the two worst dressed assholes in Calabasas. Yeah, I'm literally <laughs> in like gym shorts because I feel like I could pass out and barf at the same time at any moment now that we're rolling can you tell me why well it wasn't a big old secret i just feel like i'm going to barf like i've never been more nauseous in my life you'll unpack it on the podcast why do you feel i have some theories what are your theories i i tried the orange theory weight class for the first time ever today Uh, i was afraid that i was going to not have enough food in my body in my body to record the podcast for your podcast so i shoved my face with so much food what food just so much but what was the food i made it i had leftovers from my hello fresh meal oh. i made a protein shake i shoved my face with some almonds i just didn't stop eating but I, now i feel like i need to give birth you overdid it i overdid it but i think like the mixture of like heavy lifting and the guy was like you know you never want to be embarrassed when you're in a class full of people and he right. tells you to go for the heavy weight so oh, I and go, you're a psycho he all Ryland goes too hard i go for the 40 pound dumbbell Sleek to goose. do like some crazy overhead movements and i think i also tweaked my back so i'm just not at my best let's go to the joint after this and there's nothing to make you feel worse about yourself than looking at everyone else looking fabulous at the met gala when you weren't even invited i some would say nobody's looking their best at the met gala tonight <laughs> I would also like to give a brief update. I went to the fucking joint and look at me moving my head like a normal girly again. <laughs> we switched place. I'm I'm not I'm not anywhere right. close to as the pain that you were in. But with thanks, my back. Aunt Susie, for that suggestion. I mean, I gave it to you through her, through me. It's really from her that we know all of the things. So And you're doing better. Yeah, and I have a membership there now. Wow. Yeah, she goes all the time. <laughs> Except for I walked there on Sunday and they'd closed three minutes before I got there, which was devastating. Hmm. Yeah, they do be aligning me. I will say getting adjusted is starting to give me trust issues because those guys will like act like they're just feeling around on you. And then out of the blue, they'll be like, Gah! 
And like they want you dead cracking mm. your neck. Oh my gosh, he's streaming the live stream. I don't know if that's healthy. Yeah, is that you, Tana? Who is that? That is not Tana. It's it, like um, um, uh, Gwen Stefani. Oh um, my gosh, she's serving not punk rock. I didn't even recognize her. Chris, put Chris, your headset on. Also, you're the one who has to be watching this for Kim. Oh, uh, okay. We can't be watching it for Kim. Yeah, if we watch this, this turns into you watching us react to the carpet <laughs> without sound, yeah. which does nothing for anyone. This was a job I tasked you uh -oh. and you alone so with. when kim kardashian shows up scream yeah raise a hand holler. raise a hand what if i don't recognize her you uh. i <laughs> i have no words for you if what if you don't recognize her are you fucking kidding well, you recognize her when her face is covered by a fucking black stocking you'll know kim kardashian when it's kim fucking kardashian what do you mean okay remember last year when she showed up and nobody could see her face we still knew it was fucking kim i don't know if chris knew chris knew he filmed that episode Okay. What did Kim Kardashian wear at the Met Gala last year, Chris? You well, die all, if you answer all, wrong. All black stuff. <laughs> Chris lives to see another barbecue. <laughs> okay, Lizzie rang in her 32nd birthday. Yes, I did. Over the past week. In fact, I did. We had lots of wonderful celebrations. Yes, excerpts would say I'm exhausted from joy. Oh my gosh, me too. Overwhelmed. I and not just the joy from your party, but I was like the most social I've ever been in my life this past weekend. What else so did you do? I need a break. Maybe that's what's going on what with me. What else did you do? Well, a friend had me over for dinner. Oh, that's right. <laughs> on Friday His night. His other friend had him over for dinner the other night. <laughs> Apparently he was up very late with her, living his best life. We stayed up until 2 a.m. just talking about the world and how it works. And Lucy uh -oh. couldn't be more jealous. Cute. <laughs> I'm so glad to, you have other friends. I showed up to the birthday party happy, on time, healthy, cute, in support. Yeah. Some would say I predict. Well, actually, all of your friends are pretty good at art. Do you want to explain? Oh, what my we birthday did? was we went to color me mine, and I had requested that all of my friends paint a mug for me to drink my morning coffee out of. Which is very cute because you wanted to keep it low key and casual. Yeah. It was like a daytime first date, but because you use a mug every day, yeah. it's like you can go and be reminded. And it sparks joy for me. I will say this when I walked in, there were balloons set up everywhere, and there was like a barricade over the back section of the <laughs> shop. And I was like, oh my God. I don't think I even told them it was my birthday. Like, how did they know? And I was like, did you guys do this for me? And they went, no. It's a four year old's birthday party in the back today. <laughs> and her mother did that for her. And I said, oh. And then the and, four year olds were screaming the entire time. And then they were time. screaming and like playing with squeaker toys, which was nuts. <laughs> but when they the left, they brought toy? me the decorations and I got their trash. And then their trash decorated my party until they asked us to leave. Yeah. And if I was feeling better, I'd really pick an issue with you. But I just don't know that What's I feel What's the my issue? Best. Just pick the issue. Well, no. <laughs> last year it was a scandal oh, about the whole cake scenario go. and how you don't like cake and how we didn't eat your cake and how I got mad about that. Uh, which you said you don't even like cake and you show up to your birthday party with cupcakes they're different i like a they're cupcake. not different i like they're a chocolate literally... cupcake with a chocolate frosting and a rainbow sprinkle that's the same as cake different if you got the same combination as cake it's literally cake it's different it's not <laughs> it is. if i go to suzy cake do you want me to call suzy cake right yeah, now let's order another cake no you know what I think this would be an adventure that we could go on together. Are we going to go to Suzy Cakes? Pack it up, Chris. No, We're I, hitting the road. I was going to call and say, is your recipe for cupcakes any different than your recipe for cakes? Call and ask, actually. Well, you're out of luck because they closed 58 minutes ago. Or am I in luck? Yeah, because you'd be proven wrong. <laughs> and then the internet would, would have I? to take back all the drama <laughs> that they stirred last year. Honestly, weird drama to pick up on. <laughs> for real. I can't even you remember You want to know some real tea? What? Here's the fucking hot goss. Oh, oh. My husband forgot to fucking give me a birthday cake with candles for me to blow out. Because you're and not all I want to do, it. all I want to do, is make a fucking wish. Okay. And this motherfucker, multiple days in a row, was like, "Don't worry, like, I didn't forget." <laughs> it's like, then where's my cake? Because I micromanage this kitchen and I see no cake. <laughs> and you are not a sneaky man. So and multiple times he's like, I have to go out to make sure the Lismas vibe is right. It's like, well, you fucked it up because where's the cakes, dude? Oh. And then I bought the candles for it at Suzy Cakes when we got those cupcakes. And nobody sang happy birthday to me at my birthday party, even though we had the fucking cupcakes for it. I didn't and the fucking candles. candles for it and the fucking napkins for it. Wow. Then I get home and it's like I'm expecting it after my fucking dinner. And Joe literally forgot it and says, don't worry, it's going to happen. And then last night I had had about enough. And when <laughs> after we had dinner, 
which I made. I went into his office and I said, can I please have my birthday cake now? <sighs> With the song and the candles. And was it the cupcakes? No, it was like a, a plethora of things, like two fruit tarts and like a uh, flourless chocolate cake and a piece of a brownie. And did you take a photo? No. Of course you didn't. What good are you? And I also forgot to even make a wish because honestly, at that point, I was so exhausted from having to demand my fucking moment <laughs> that I blew out one candle. I was like, I forgot to make a wish. And then they relighted the candle and then I made a wish. But it was, you know what? I know I, I hear how I sound. And let me just say, I am so tired. <laughs> we are not afternoon girls. Well, that's what we've both come to the conclusion. We like, are morning bitches. Miss me with the nighttime recordings. It's like nothing happens good for me after 1 p.m. I'm I almost fell mood. asleep at the wheel on my way here. And it was only 4.30. Like, girl, I'm tired. Okay, well. She's had a day. Where do we even go from here? Where do we go from here? I've never been more awake. Really? What's wrong with you? Turn him back oh, on. Yeah, Chris is normally like stumbling in here. Tell us about yeah, yourself. Yeah, Chris is Chris. normally stumbling in. I'm a night owl. Ew. I, I can't do mornings. I mean, I do them for work, but I'm tired. <laughs> did you? How did you get here today? Where did you? By way of which way did you come from? from Burp? I, I came from Bakersfield today. Of course you did, because <laughs> you live there now. On the weekends. Yeah. I help for the barbecue business. Right. <laughs> for your non-boyfriend. <laughs> For his not boyfriend. Uh-huh. Anyways, I'm sorry. It's okay. No need to apologize. <laughs> Do you have anything else from your past week? Um. Hmm. Seems like nothing's happening with us. Oh, uh, you can do this one. You wanted me to put that on here. What? Can you not read? No. Well, then try. I don't know any of oh, these people. Oh. Okay. You'll know Kim when you well, see Well, I Kim. forgot to talk to you about my mug for Lizzie. Um, I was really planning this. I knew in advance that her birthday party was going to be us making her a mug. So oof. I really thought about it. I prayed on it. And Did I you thought, really? Yes. For real? I was thinking about Dear my- Dear God, the, please make clear to me what I should paint on this mug for my friend Lizzie. And as I was driving, terminology just hit me in the face. Mm-hmm. And it's actually something I'd never referred God to before. God rang as. down from heaven above and shouted at me a message of joy and wonderment. <laughs> he said, Ryland, on this day, the 30th of April, you will make a mug for Lizzie Gordon that says... Well, you know that... Just say what it says! Oh my gosh, I need to preface it. <sighs> because you guys came to the conclusion in our comment section that sometimes she looks like a lesbian and it's Who debatable led them to that conclusion oh, you by reading the comments and relaying the information to me yeah but you call me what on air leslie liz yeah but then as i was Planted driving the so seed. i was like oh i'm gonna hit her with a cup that reads leslie liz i'm gonna put her in her most leslie outfit like on the side of the cup and then as i was driving into color me mine the term butch babe hit me and i thought oh my god couldn't be better so one side says butch babe in the center it's a picture of lizzie les leslie liz Lizzie Liz dressed like other... i work at fucking Foot Locker. <laughs> it's a referee outfit because it yeah. was the easiest for me to execute with my artistic abilities mm-hmm. i'll show it on screen i mean we don't have the finished product once right. it's glazed it's going to be truly sickening but you'll get to see <laughs> the unfinished look but while we were at lunch breakfast what were we doing while we were painting we were oh just painting God. while we were painting yeah joe and this is where you take over. Oh, well, I mean, Joe just pointed. We Here's the deal. I was having a discussion with my husband, Joseph, <laughs> in our bed before our bedtime. We were watching the three hour and 25 minute film called JFK by Oliver Stone. Not the documentary, the scripted saga. Okay. As we are watching it, we were commentating on the fact that for some reason, history has tried to force down our gullets that Jackie Onassis was an... A woman of great beauty. But when you really look at Jackie Onassis, you think, is she (laughs) dumb? So I'm going to ask you to sound off in the comments below. Go ahead and Google the iconic woman and let me know if you think she's actually stunning, sickening or whatever. Or is she just sort of like an average Jane? Jackie Onassis. I was just going to ask you if you care about anyone else. No. Okay. Anyways, I'm laying in bed with my fucking husband. We're talking about hot, the fact that there's not really been any like stunning, visually stunning first ladies. And then I said, but Hillary Clinton's hot as fuck. <laughs> and he said that that was pretty gay. 
And that's the story. <laughs> that's the gayest thing you've ever said for sure. <laughs> like, and this was I mean, all coming to fruition as I was painting my Lezzy Liz cup. I had never felt more validated in my life. I also had to Google if the term butch was acceptable for me to be painting on a cup to then have uh, polished and frozen by one of the employees at Color Me Mine. I think your use of the word butch is less offensive than me considering Hillary Clinton to be a hot woman. Yeah, I don't know where you came to that conclusion. Have you seen her? I mean, she can, uh, when we get into the Met Gala looks, girl is snatched on that carpet tonight. Why is she at the Met Gala? She is glowing. Is her husband by her side? I don't think so. She looked like she was riding solo. And you're, and then Joe came Waiting up with a good me. point. He just said, oh no, Lizzie's attracted to her, what, what was the I terminology? I think it was like megalomania. <laughs> yeah. Which, like, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. I'm aware her, that she is... Her need for control and power. Right. Like, I don't love Hillary Clinton like I love Jesus. You know what I mean? Like, it's a different kind of love. <laughs> oh, It's Jackie. like a warm, moist, pulsating between your legs kind of thing. I'm, I'm like... I wasn't familiar with Jackie Kennedy's work, but I would say that I would uh, prefer to uh, fornicate her more than Hillary. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if Hillary's my cup of tea, like, in the terms of, like, me turning straight for someone. Right. Let me Google her. She's not everyone's cup of tea, but I... she is mine. <laughs> All right. Well, I know it's been so fun, but we do have an ad for today's episode, which just so happens to be HelloFresh, which is oh! also what I had for lunch today. It was fantastic, mm, delicious, and it is helping me become the chef of my dreams. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You skip trips to the grocery store and you can count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant and it's even cheaper than grocery shopping and that's money back in your pocket. You can customize your favorite dishes with their new Hello Custom offerings by swapping out one protein or side for another, upgrading to a more luxe experience or even adding protein to a veggie meal. You can pick your favorites from 50 different weekly options and skip weeks when you need to or change your delivery date and even update your preferences all in the HelloFresh app. It makes deciding what you're gonna eat for dinner or lunch so easy and you honestly learn Learn the skills that you need to utilize if you're like me and you're just not the best in the kitchen. It is wonderful, phenomenal. It shows up. Everything you need is right there. So go to HelloFresh.com slash TheSip16 and use code TheSip16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash TheSip16 and use code TheSip16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. All right, Lizzie. Mm-hmm. You're watching the live stream. I'm just looking for Kim because I feel like we can't rely on Chris for this. Uh, well, right now it's just Nikki. <laughs> okay. Just Nikki? I love Nikki. Okay, Chris. Before, well, should we do our Met Gala review? No, right let's up wait top? until we can find Kim. Let's give her some time to show no, up. No, I mean, we have like 20 looks to review. Let's wait. Let's no. do iced tea really fast. I don't think we have that great of iced tea. I think we have some good iced tea in here. What just happened today? <clears throat> Come on, think about it. Well, I'm not prepared for this moment. Why? It's right, uh, right here. I was prepared to go into Met Gala fashion. Why does it? Jesus Christ. I'm going <laughs> to die. Why does it matter? Just go here. Go to IC. Give well, Kim a minute to show up. Well, do you really want to talk about the Met Kim Kardashian? Car <laughs> Kim Kardashian doesn't show up yet. This is the Kim Kardashian hour? Well, everybody wants to know whether or not she's showing up in one of the dresses that Marilyn Monroe wore originally that can't be altered at all. So if she doesn't fit in it, she doesn't make it to the fucking show. I want to know. Okay. Okay. Elon Musk bought Twitter. He did it. It went through. <laughs> I, and to my knowledge, it went through, right? Their reporting is yeah. that it went through. I don't yeah. know if like the power has been transferred. I right. think the purchase has been done. Um, I don't know when he goes into power. <laughs> he steps into his power. <laughs> the whole world is so... When his horcruxes become official. So angry. And honestly, it just is so funny to me. Watch everyone be so upset over something that literally... I know. And people are saying like it could world end world hunger. And to my knowledge, Elon Musk went the to amount the... of money that he spent they say could end world hunger which i don't know why he's responsible to do that like i don't know why one is exclusive with the other there, a lot of people just don't like elon musk because they think that like hillary he's a megalomaniac is, is this her which might not be wrong i can't see that it's part Pete davidson yeah then oh it's my her. Gosh. give it to me give it to me oh my god is she wearing the marilyn monroe dress give it to me <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. See, I didn't recognize her. <laughs> I recognize Pete. I think she is wearing the Marilyn Monroe dress. We've got a screen record so that they can see what's going on. Okay, well, she's just standing right now. Pete's giving a peace sign. Oh my gosh, no, there she is. There she is. Yeah, I think that's the Marilyn Monroe dress. Wow, she did go blonde. Did she dye her hair like that? Or yeah. is that just a sickening wig? Wow. And the fur coat. Oh wow. my gosh. It's slinky and tight in all the right places. Okay. Wow, she really showed up to do the damn thing. And they thing. couldn't alter the dress because it's an arc. It's a. It's like a relic, a historical relic. And did Marilyn Monroe approve of Kim Kardashian? Marilyn Monroe is so dead. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm saying though, like how, who is in charge of her estate that approves of Kim Kardashian. I think the dress was at Ripley's, believe it or not, in Florida or something. So no one in association with Marilyn had a choice in the matter? I'm pretty sure whoever owns the dress had a say in the matter. Okay, because I was going to say, what do you mean? Like, I could just say, like, I want to wear Marilyn Monroe's get up? Wow. This is it for Pete Davidson. And then he look is at, a is lucky this, man. Is this Katy Perry looking in like the knockoff version of I don't think that's what? Katy Perry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely not Katy Perry. <laughs> wow. I mean, she looks stunning. It's like so Kim simply. Kim Kardashian takes Marilyn Monroe's happy birthday Mr. President dress out for a spin. So that's the dress. Oh my God. This is so full circle to the fact that I was talking about Jackie Onassis slash Kennedy, whatever. So the T is Marilyn Monroe was fucking both John F. Kennedy and Robert F. Kennedy, who were in fact brothers at the time of her passing. Is this a fact? This is a fact. Okay. This is well known in history. I'm not breaking this gossip. There's well, no way that I know who the fuck the Kennedy brothers were fucking. Well, I know there's in all the, in the 60s. Aren't there all these rumors like that's supposed to She was like, absolutely uh, fucking both okay. of them at the same all time. Right. Anyways. She's wearing the dress that Marilyn wore when she sang the sexy happy birthday, Mr. President. I can't get over this. This is a fucking moment. Like, this is fucking crazy. I mean, I don't really, I'm not like living for the historical moment because I don't recall <laughs> her in the gown, Marilyn. But right. looking at this, it is like elegant, stunning, like old Hollywood fashion. It fits yeah. her in all the right places. It's like slinky and perfect at the bottom. It's nude, but it sparkles. It's like. And it is... she is the Marilyn of our generation. If you really think about it. I mean, she's not an actress, but yes. Was Marilyn an actress? I don't know. I, did, I didn't live in that time period. And you yes, know I'm nothing she was. of a she was historian. An actress. She was an actress. <laughs> <laughs> but she was also an iconic sex symbol. Okay. And Kim is nothing if not an iconic sex symbol. Of course. Yeah. So I would say that thematically, though Kim is not technically an actress, even though she does have an extensive list of acting credits, including but not limited to like CSI, I think. <laughs> I might be making that up. Regardless. Kim is the Marilyn of our generation, and I think it's fucking dope that she went in her fucking dress. That is everything. Well, we'll get back to you on if she's the best dressed of the night. But I don't know if she's the best dressed, but I do have to say, like, that is like. Well, I'm saying after we rate and review, oh, right. we're going no, to but make I the mean, decision. Like, we're going to come to the conclusion. Yeah, I just think it's fucking sick as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, um, anyways, <laughs> Elon bought Twitter, and that's that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but nobody what back to the Elon just to go back to what we were talking about how he's a megalomaniac and people don't like him because he's kind of a douche weagle. But he's also doing good. And douche weagle's a thing that people say. Uh, so here's the thing. Like I, I, uh, Well, here's the thing. Bezos bought a fucking press thing too. I'm pretty sure Bezos owns the Washington Post. I'm probably wrong about that. One he of owns them. Yes. he owns some sort of newspaper. And so when Elon Musk goes out and buys the fucking site where all the publications are listed first and people go to seek the news, it's like that's just one step smarter than what everybody else has always done. Yeah. And I saw a lot of people leaving Twitter and I was like, does this mean Twitter will be a place that will be bearable? Because honestly, it's the place. But he's also promoting uh, the opposite of that. But I did see a lot of people just saying like, I'm deactivating my account. They're going to be back right. in five and a half seconds. Who fucking cares? And I just thought it could be fun to like reopen my Twitter because I haven't honestly been there in two yeah. years. And I deleted my Twitter because so many verified people were being so nasty to me at a certain point in life. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking it'd be fun to see who's being nasty to me now. Yeah, I think... <laughs> That's toxic. I don't know that I would like to stand by you whilst you do that because it seems very awkward. And Maybe they're being nice now. Who knows? I doubt that that's the case. 
<laughs> or See, maybe everyone Twitter who hates already you is like... gone. Are you now? Are you claiming the same audience as Elon Musk? No, 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 no. I'm no. not. But yeah. I just think it's fun. Like I've always thought Twitter was so toxic, even when I was on Twitter. So yeah. I don't think it, anything's going to make Twitter a better place to right. exist because it is the place where you just get to spew your thoughts and jump on anything that's like starting to gain traction, good or bad. Yeah. So it's never a place I want to be regardless of who owns it. But I did hear, and it could be false, that Elon Musk went to the WHO and said, I, I'm willing to uh, give you $6 billion if you give me a plan on how you're going to utilize it right. to, uh, I think it was in regards to hunger. So yeah. I don't know. Or maybe he's the monster or the world's biggest devil, and I just don't know about it. I definitely think that there's a big reason why people feel so strongly that they do. I think I don't know it because I spend most of my time not looking up important information. Yeah. And me Most, either. I would say I play a lot of Tetris and that's what I'm, the majority of my mental <laughs> space is occupied with just how to fit simple shapes into each other. Mm -hmm. But if I don't do it, who will? So you don't want to see who's mentioning me on Twitter? No. Interesting. <laughs> So I don't, I've never been no a person reason. who understands how to fuck with Twitter. Because oh, this is this such what you news. wanted to do? Well, yeah, because the Elon oh, yeah. Twitter isn't... Go ahead, open it. Well, I don't even know if how to get If it gets uncomfortable, in. I'm not going to look at you, though. <laughs> 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 and I'm so sorry in advance if it's hateful. And if anybody's <laughs> hating on me, they can go fucking munch a rug. Why would they come they to me to be They can munch my hate? rug, which, by the way, is something I'm trying to coin. I'm coining the phrase munch my rug instead of suck my dick. Um... I don't even know if I can get into my Twitter, honestly. Thank God. <laughs> Do I have a seven? What? We might have to come back to this after the break. Oh, no. I don't know how to get into my Twitter. <laughs> Great. <laughs> this is what happens when I produce a podcast. Okay. <laughs> Olivia Wilde was served with papers on stage at some sort of... It wasn't Comic-Con, but a con. No, it was like a... I think it was called Cinecon, and she was giving a talk on stage because she's a director. And she, she has talk, a she, movie. Talking about the film starring Harry, Harry Styles. Yeah. And she gets served with papers from ex Jason Sudeikis. I mean, technically, it was just like the guy that was hired to give her the court papers, which can't be Jason, but she does have to receive them. So kind of brilliant to give it to her when she's scheduled to speak in public. A lot of legal analysis, though, are saying really that... Really dark and fucked up, that, but... But a lot of legal analysis are saying that you you typically know when the papers are being served uh -huh. and that it's like very unlikely that he didn't know that it was happening at such a public forum. And he was just like, fuck your and shit. he released a statement saying he didn't know that that was happening after receiving a ton of backlash online. Mm -hmm. So we'll honestly never know i just think the plot thickens so much because it's so interesting and fascinating that saturday night live has now announced that harry styles will be the musical act for jason sudeikis when he hosts the show on may 14th that makes my stomach turn and so are they that all on it sick. in on it a little bit or like that makes me sick with anxiety <laughs> I can't believe they would do that to both of those guys like that is they they like the we just watched this on the Kardashians it seems like Kim had a say in it she's like should I have Kanye be my musical guest it's like shouldn't we definitely not put these two guys together at this time and if Jason's having to serve Olivia with paperwork it means that he doesn't have access to her correct no legally when you when someone's being served I, like if I sued you I could not personally hand you the papers but why it has is he to be a third point, party but if he's at the point of suing her then some For a child then, he was he it's uh custody business I believe I know but that means that they were not able to come to a conclusion right. on their own so yeah. he's having to sue her so the fact that he is going Going to be on SNL with Harry Styles. To me, I mean, this serving situation seems like it's not all amicable. Oh, obviously, so the it's fact not. that they're w coinciding in this, I mean, is a ratings gold. But it, what if they get in a huge fight live? I mean, and is Olivia not going to be there to support her new man mm -hmm. while he has to encounter? If I were her, I would steer very clear of that event. <laughs> I would not attend. And if I were one of those dudes, I would be like, oh, excuse me, guys. I believe there's been an oversight. And you happen to have paired me with uh, the man who's fucking my former wife. Like, I would not oh. want that. Stark. Seems tragic all around. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. We got to cut and we'll be right back. Cutting. Scene one, take two, marker. 
Well, in a shocking turn of events. A couple of silly geese fell for a fake headline. Well, it was on my Explore page and it was like, this is indeed real. And I, and there were like multiple slides and like showing proof that it yeah. was posted. So how did it, how did the fakeness come about? Well, it was first the- we have to say Jason Sudeikis and Harry Styles, not going to be on SNL together. <sighs> that was just a joke. People posted a joke headline and we read it and we're like, wow, this is that's right. wild. And that's why it's a joke because it's so blatantly, obviously funny because it could never happen because that would be Although, stupid. can you imagine the highest ratings in the show's history for sure? Maybe they should do it so we don't look like fucking morons. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, this is I'm why- I'm going to call Lauren Michaels and be like, hey, Lauren, like my friend Raylan and I- This is why TikTok and Instagram are so toxic because you can just put out whatever the fuck you want and stupid people like me believe it. <laughs> and I'm like, did you hear? With such conviction, and then I'm speculating on how awkward this is and why Olivia was <laughs> served with papers. I, I'm and, just sitting here like, this can't be real. And, and then, he, like, we cut down, he goes, that can't be real. Let me actually look into it. <laughs> <laughs> It's not. I don't deserve this. I literally feel like I'm going, to, oh my God. Don't do it. Hold it together. I Wait. feel so nauseous. Like, Wait. I feel like. Don't talk about it unless you're going to be about it. Jump outside. I, I I might need that trash can, honestly. I wonder what's going on with me. Are you sick sick? I don't know. Like, I feel so ill. What did you, what were the leftovers I that you I can't even focus. Are you going to throw up? Should I leave? It's past, like it. It's passing. It's passing. No, but I still need that in case it comes back. You need to give me enough warning to get out of here because <laughs> if you start doing that, I'm going to have to. I just, I'm so sorry for them more than you. I feel like it's about to come out both ends, quite frankly. Do you have the norovirus? Is that what this is? If you start shitting and vomiting, yeah, probably. I feel like that's what's going on. And now I've given it to you. What if you have COVID? I'm not good with norovirus. I thought for a second, the I wasn't feeling well the other night. And so I took a COVID test last night and I didn't, I don't have COVID. So maybe I have something else and I shouldn't be by you guys. If it's the norovirus, (laughs) I will literally fucking kill you. Maybe you should run now. If I... Honest to God, my dog is so sick. If I am, if I wind up laid up on the toilet, shitting and vomiting my brains out right now, I will set your entire fucking house on fire. I told you I was not well before you came. Yeah, but you're never well. You always say I'm unwell. How am I supposed to take you? So you're the boy who cried unwell. I'm yeah, but I'm like lightheaded, feeling like I'm going to barf with something about to fall out of my ass. Oh, fall out. Like it's not even going to need like a push. Like it's just going to drop. I can't laugh right now. Don't laugh right now. I'm so sad on our Met Gala review. Do you want to just speed through it as fast as we can and then call it a short one? Well, no, what I love, I love doing the Met Gala ones. Let's try. And then if you start shissing and vomiting, I'll just fucking dip. Okay. Let's Chris quickly get to the, the Kardashians. What the yeah. fuck was Kim wearing before she was going to SNL? She was in a full neon pink ski outfit as though she was hitting the slopes in Aspen, Colorado. Yeah. But she was standing in her hotel room and she changed before she got paparazzi to go to SNL. Yeah. So she was wearing that to film the Kardashians. And I just couldn't fathom what she was doing. I couldn't tell you. I mean, she's the fashion icon, so <laughs> yeah. I'll leave it up to her. Honestly, we all thought they were batshit crazy when they were wearing sweats and bralettes, and now, like, look at us out in these streets in sweats and bralettes, so catch me next season in a fucking Aspen jacket <laughs> ready to hit the slopes, even though I haven't done that since the 90s. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, of course I know what you're talking about. I and it was episode. right when Kanye was delivering and the 2000s. 2000... She was like, he got the rest of the video. And I watched it and it's like not sex. And it's like, so what did he get you? And why does it matter? As if it also doesn't exist on a cloud somewhere though. Like nobody has footage only existing on one device. Like it was a computer and a hard drive in a suitcase. Kanye's like, I got rid of the cloud. And Chris is like, can we bring the cameras? And she's like, yeah, bring the cameras as if this wasn't planned. I I, I feel bad for the woman. Like I know she doesn't want to relive this with her children and do it all over again. And I'm glad that she went through the trouble of like securing the bag but like sounds like the bag might have might have not been a thing which also might be why ray j is like it's not a thing yeah he started commenting on all of yeah the... he's like it's not a sex well in the show she's like oh it's no more sex and kanye's s- s- saying he flew commercial for this i love that they keep saying that like he's like a fucking hero i flew with regular people <laughs> but, like, he's like sick by it he's like oh i had to sit by 
poor people. <laughs> I flew coach. But like, what was up He's with like, the private plane? Catch why Kanye on Spirit Airlines. Like, whoa, no. But why couldn't he charter his jet? And why couldn't he yeah. charter, charter Chim, Kim? Oh my God. Kim. <laughs> why couldn't he charter Kim's jet? Like, was this it's before her they jet. had jets? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. I just don't understand. I And you know what? I don't care. And then I was thinking more about the Amy Schumer collaboration. Do you think with it's the a plug for Life After Bath, which is just like the slowest fucking show? Well, I started thinking, yeah, because you were so confused by the merging of the two. And then yeah. I vocalized it out loud while Shane was in the room and he goes, They're cross promoting for her Life of Beth show. Oh, it's and Life I thought, of Beth. And I thought, Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Everything makes sense now because she showed up. She's product placement. The, Imagine. She is product placement. That is fucking I don't, wild. I don't doubt they have text conversations, but there's no world in which Kim's like, thanks for the advice. I'm taking none of it. Thanks, if, Amy. You're truly one of my best friends. If it wasn't planted by Hulu. So I just thought it was a weird, interesting plant. Yeah. Um, Do you feel ma manipulated? Because honestly, I watched Life of Beth. And? I couldn't tell you much about it, <laughs> but I do have to say that Amy Schumer, I am starting to realize Amy Schumer's <laughs> brand of humor. Yeah. I mean, she definitely is funny. Like, I, I mean, I'm, I'm realizing what it is. What do you mean? I'm, I'm understanding her tone and her voice. I'm not laughing, <laughs> but I, I do see her I and she... I hear her. I do hear her. I hear her voice. What she brings is funny to me. Like I watched her last appearance on the Ellen DeGeneres show and I thought it like, she brings it like yeah and i appreciate her bringing strategic bits to thing events such as talk shows because yeah. so many people are snorefests on talk shows so mm -hmm. i do appreciate what she's giving to the world what did she do on ellen she was just funny she was funnier but than like, the average person i mean she her. was being amy schumer but like it made me laugh on more than one occasion okay okay um this one was brought to my oh okay there is a verdict in the Kardashian versus Black China trial, which is the Kardashians win and owe no money to China. The result happened on Met Gala Monday just a few hours ago while China was sitting in the courtroom alone because the Kardashians were too <laughs> busy the Met <laughs> attending the Met Gala. They're like, the verdict isn't even important to the us The verdict enough. is like, Black China, you a crazy bitch. And these women are all at the Met Gala looking <laughs> fucking a little ridiculous. Everyone except for Kim is looking a little ridiculous. And and I read that this is something like the trial is five years after the initial lawsuit. So she has I think stayed that's fairly angry. normal. I know, but it's like to stay passionate and yeah. to hope that you could win for five years to take it to trial yeah. when the evidence all lined up against her. Like, yeah. It, it all boils down to, for me, she wouldn't have gotten the reality show if it weren't for the Kardashians to begin with. So yeah. even if they had a big play in canceling the second season of her show, she really has no runway to say, like, this was something I created on my own merit. Well, that wasn't what she was even trying to say. Well, she was saying the money she lost out on because the show was canceled. But I'm saying... And she's saying the show was canceled because of false claims from the Kardashians because that's what defamation is. But she also had a restraining order on Rob after the first season so exactly. it's very likely that the well, producers the, would never pick it up to begin with but the the point of the defamation lawsuit like we talked about last week is can if it's true the person is not guilty of defamation so the truth that they proved in court legally on record is that black china is a nasty bitch and what i'm saying is for her to believe with conviction for five years mm -hmm. knowing the facts mm -hmm. that she was that she thought she was going to win is what's crazy to me yeah and the kardashians aren't just all going to show up to court for not like if they didn't think they were going to win they would have settled and paid her out yeah so it's just ironic that i think it's so funny on met gala monday when kim's wearing marilyn monroe's <laughs> dress that you're legally declared a crazy bitch <laughs> like <laughs> it's just so unfortunate like i feel like a loser on met gala monday so my heart goes out to well, black china i mean i don't know if that's where you want to <laughs> i don't know if that's the wraparound for you but you know what let's he's I'm not sick. saying I support, guys he's not feeling i well. literally could pass out at any he's, minute he's so barely it, holding it together do not hold the black china statement against him <laughs> do you want to get into netflix my or hands fuck are tingly and so should we do Met Gala or do we want to talk about how that, that stank ass Meghan Merkel's well, cartoon what, was dropped by Netflix and so she Netflix, might have to sell another 
expose to make her Netflix, million dollar development deal Netflix's worthy. Q1 numbers have come out and they're in the negative for the first time ever and they're saying it's not only because they pulled out of Russia because everything that's going on but also just because everyone's swapping between streaming services and yeah. I think Netflix had to cut ties with some of the most expensive projects one being Meghan Markle's show which I think they signed like a hundred and fifty million dollar deal with uh, like this a couple. development deal yeah. yes so I think them backing out of this show probably saved them probably tens of millions of dollars it was a cartoon it was a child's cartoon show yeah it's like megan nobody wanted this from you but nobody's t- ever wanted any of the shit you make and your book is stupid and for your second, children's book is stupid oh my gosh it is ask for anyone second, who's read it so everyone was team megan markle and pretending that she wasn't like some kind of sort of villain again right. like everyone has facets to them and i'm sure her narrative has been spun out of control by the media such as every other celebrity so like we never know where she truly lies like evil great probably right. somewhere in the middle like the rest of I us i mean no matter what when that couple was coming out with all of these different jobs that was paying them 10 to tens of to hundreds of millions of dollars i just like honestly it left a really bad taste in my mouth because why in the fuck Mm -hmm. would you ever give that much money in development for what product? Do you know what I mean? Like, what are they developing? Well, they... Like, what the fuck is it? Because it feels let, like you're just giving these people money because they're formerly royal. Of course. Yeah, they but they're the, not doing anything in regards to being formerly royal. But they let the heat die. Had yeah. this show come out a month after everything that was going on when they were at the top of all the headlines, the investment You really think a six-month-old is going to turn off Coco Melon to watch Meghan Merkel's Pearl? Well, I think it's... The, they're probably looking at, like, Barack Obama's series came out, which I'm sure is wonderful and it great trash i but tried to watch it people couldn't. people didn't watch it so th- they're probably just realizing like oh our money is better yeah. spent in other places like the big names don't necessarily draw in well those big those kinds of big names like who gives a shit about and also like by the way love barack obama i really do i tried to read his autobiography the audacity of hope but it was in his voice in my head so it went really slow and i just couldn't keep going <laughs> my dad loved that book i'm sure sh- and it's a great it no i know and i'm so pissed because the only reason why i put it down was because i was reading it in barack's voice in his cadence which is very fucking slow (laughs) could not make it through the first chapter that being said i fucking love him he's a charismatic bright light in every room put on his nature show because i love a nature show and to be like some shots were so similar that even though he's in a new location it feels like a jump cut like not even your dogs were interested no my dogs could give a fuck (laughs) and they love that shit it was wild so it's also like it's barack obama like where did that money go did his daughter shoot this and also she went to documentarian school so she should be better at this oh that's oh it's dark Okay. Um, James Corden's late night show is being canceled after this upcoming season. He's doing one more round and he's announced that he's done. Mm -hmm. So you put this on the document. Did I add let's make this about us? No, I added let's make this about us because I don't know why there's not one goddamn person in Hollywood that's not watching our (laughs) podcast thinking that we need a morning show. Or a late night show. No, I'm not suited for late night. I'm not Uh, funny. Well, no, we recorded during the day. (laughs) <laughs> even so like i'm not of the landscape of late night it's more like one two punch like punchline yeah. funny yeah i think we're more suited in like we would have writers though ryan and kelly i don't know if i can deliver that i'm telling you i'm more like in the scope of ryan and kelly okay um you don't think we could do like a chelsea handler panel show Mm, I could navigate. I think you're one. funny. You made me laugh recently. I don't remember what you said, <laughs> but I do remember. No, and even I got my friend Mal called me after uh, Color Remind, and she said Rylan's funny. Thank you, Mal. She said I didn't know he was funny. I thought he was just weird and awkward, but he's very funny. <laughs> I said no, his funny is his weird and awkward. Well, I don't think I'm weird or awkward. Well, then you don't know yourself. Thanks a lot, Mal. <laughs> Learning lots today. Uh, no, but I just think like no give us a fucking studio audience <laughs> give us the wendy williams fucking show well no i love wendy williams i do not want to replace wendy williams no, but like but give I'll, us a wendy i'll williams take the show. time slot leading into or coming after wendy williams yeah but and, and we can't be live and we're cheap like oh, not we're cheap but the show's not I'm, expensive I'm, to produce i'm affordable <laughs> I am an affordable we, well, no, talent. We're the budget of the show. Like they, right. they have a one-time set that they have to build. And then it's really like. And I do have to say, 
I get a lot of questions from people. How big is your production? And I say, my production is very small. What do you mean? My production at the sip. What I have (laughs) produced here for you guys is the three of us in Ryland's shed. It's just me, Chris and Ryland. And then I edit every episode and color correct it. And I upload it to all the platforms and post it. So what was your sentiment in adding it? Like, do you watch the James Corden show? No, that. I mean, it's the end of an era and it's crazy. And he's like, I see more for myself. But typically speaking, the people who do these like late, late shows and the Tonight Show and that they do it till death do they part. Mm hmm. Or maybe he's going to go take over for what someone else was. Well, Shane doing. was like, is, do you think he's going to take over for Ellen? And I said, well, no, he has another year oh. on. His, he has another year on his contract. And then I started thinking, well, isn't that a downgrade technically from late night to a daytime slot? But actually, right. the late night hosts aren't what they once were. Somebody's calling you. Um, like in terms of ratings and views, actually, the most popular talk show right now is live with Kelly and Ryan. And they're getting like over 2.4 million views yeah. live. But I know James is also like a very talented actor and singer. Right? Yeah, I think he's talented at everything. I mean, he showcases yeah. like, that on his show. A lot like me. Yeah, so maybe you have a time slot in late night, but I don't. I think it's been long enough. We need to get into the Met Gala fashion review. Let's get review. into the uh, Met Gala fashion you know, review. I'm going to have to put some cards because I know people are just going to want to jump right here because I was so in incomprehensive today. I just think that you don't realize that every time we're at our worst, our show is at its best. I don't think so today. Like my hands are tingling. I know, I'm going to pass you, out. You I'm also literally say this second. every Monday. You no, I just, don't. Every, he's always like, I can't feel my face. Like, <laughs> Okay, let's get into our Met Gala fashion review. It wouldn't be the Met Gala if we didn't start with the queen herself, Anna Wintour. Mm -hmm. Now, Vogue puts on the event, so she is the reigning queen of Vogue. Mm -hmm. Um, It's serving Peacock. It's serving Nana. It's serving Bird. It's serving, uh, would you like some biscuits and gravy? This, yeah. Is this vegan? Is PETA going to be okay with this? It looks like feathers Yeah, there's looks like there's feathers her. on there. You know, we should have done our due diligence and been like, she's wearing blah, blah, blah by so-and-so and styled by such and such. Oh, no, it doesn't say that. Mm-mm. Okay. Well. well, that's Anna Wintour. <laughs> Glad we covered her. I think it's age- The moment you've all been waiting for where you get no information about people. We don't even know who they are. It's age appropriate. I like the hairstyle. The crown is a lot, but I guess she's owning it. I think the crown is on theme because the theme this year is... Yeah, serve it to us. It's a continuation of last year's theme, which is probably because it's like... Could they not think of a new theme? Ass to ass. Is that the rest of this episode? A lexicon of fashion... The Gilded Age. Oh, what even is the Met Gala? Gilded Glamour 2022. Met Gala will celebrate the second volume in a two-part costume institute exhibition. Exhibition. We're fine. The first in America, a lexicon of fashion. So the first in America, is that why Kim is wearing Marilyn Monroe? Because she's one of the first icons of her I time? think that was the first volume. So this is volume two, which is Gilded Glamour. I'll never understand what the Met Gala is. I think Gilded Glamour <laughs> is more of like an 1800 sort of vibe, which is why you're going to see a lot of people who are dressed a little bit like Downton Abbey, not Downton Abbey, but like, what's that other English show? Bridgerton? Bridgerton. Um, there's mad Bridgerton vibes. I'm just saying. Like, You'll see as we progress through the looks. I don't think there's a world in which I'll ever retain what the Met Gala itself is. It's a fundraising event for the Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art. Okay. There's more to it, which I know because last year when we did this, someone in the comments was like, this is what the fuck it is and you guys are stupid. And it's like, obviously we're stupid. We fall for fake news. <laughs> you didn't come here to learn what the fuck the Met Gala is about. You came here to listen to two very stupid, beautiful people talk about other very stupid, beautiful people. Wow. If it isn't a time to be Emma Chamberlain. But do you see the vibe with Emma Chamberlain here where it's a little bit modern bridge? Um, oh, bridge I abbreviation for, for Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Yeah, and that apparently is the gilded whatever. Gosh, you know, Chris, maybe you should look up what that means. Gilded, <laughs> gilded something, gilded glam. We're good for nothing. Good for nothing, but hot as hell. Honestly, it's never been a better time to be Emma Chamberlain. She's getting better and better. So much better. So and, much better. And it just is like. I, is she an actual guest this year? She was is, she a guest last year? She well, she's a guest, but she's also doing she's conducting interviews for the YouTube channel, which feels very fitting. Yeah, and she's been doing making all of the fashion rounds. Like she gets invited to everything now because and I think, isn't she a model for Louis Vuitton? She's always in collaboration with Louis Vuitton and um, one of the other big 
companies. Did I just say Louis? Yeah. Does anyone say Louis Vuitton? I don't know. We're going to go to the next person. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't done gawking over Emma Chamberlain. Hold on. Turn, Mar- turn Mark. What is your name? Chris. <laughs> turn Chris on. <laughs> Let Chris be. Um. <laughs> yes, Mark? Yes. Um, so gilded means to show how wealth and glamour was used to conceal the social unrest and turmoil of the era. I'm and what was the era? Just reading what it says and it stops there. I can look further into it. What do you mean? Oh, whatever. Who cares? That's what popped up and I just read it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Wow. I honestly love Emma Chamberlain's look. I love the short hair. She did the same color that Kim Kardashian did with the hair. The platinum blonde. And the jewelry. Oh, gosh. I guess I want to be Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, interesting. And you love her coffee. So, um, boring. Mod Apatow is in this all black ensemble. Serving I Am My Father's Daughter. The Eufo- No, she's made a name for herself now. No, she Euphoria. looks like her fucking dad. Oh, okay. That You mean it in terms of that. Yeah. I think the Euphoria cast is having a moment right now. They're getting invited to just everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think good for her. That's oh, all you no. have to say about her, and you just sucked fucking Emma Chamberlain's rug dry. Well, because I thought Emma Chamberlain looked good. She like so, took a so risk. So on the record, Rylan Adams thinks Maude Apatow is trash. That's not true. I love all Apatows, <laughs> <laughs> including Leslie Mann. Um, I think this is the boy from. No, is it not? This Euphoria is the boy? boy. No, he's not a Euphoria boy. He, Evan Mock. Evan Mock is another HBO Max girly. He is in the reboot of Gossip Girl, which I found unwatchable. Okay. Though he is a cutie patootie, I believe he is also a professional skateboarder and maybe a model. Look at him. He looks great. Fantastic. Uh, Serving yeah. banana fantasy. I hope he's wearing Jeffrey's new palette. He's not. because. What do you not, mean? He uh, is serving banana. I mean, he's like a banana cream. Yeah. A vanilla pudding. A, van- a banana cream pie. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Act like you had more to say. <gasps> what is this? Who is that? Jordan Roth. How, do you know who that is? No. Who, can you look up who that is? This is the Jordan, least. Jordan inf- Roth? Yeah. I mean, he I did mean, it. it's wild. It's like Willy Wonka goth. You know, it's like Ursula under the sea. He's doing with legs his job because. Do you know what his job is? Yes, to get us to talk about him. Had I not, <laughs> because if it wasn't, he he's not somebody that I know, so I wouldn't have picked him to review. Right. Had he not looked like this, right? Who is he? Uh, Turn Mark on. <laughs> Jordan Roth is an American theater producer. He is the president and majority owner of, I'm going to pronounce this so wrong, Juja Sin Theaters in New York City. Roth oversees five Broadway theaters, including the St. James, I can't pronounce that, August Wilson, Eugene O'Neill, and the Walter Kerr. Oh, wow. So he's a big fucking deal in New York theater. Oh, my gosh. Kieran Culkin. Looks like he's getting married at 19 to his high school sweetheart in Las Vegas. Or, you know what? Quite frankly, probably his parents' backyard. Gotta love him, though. I mean, showing up true to self. I feel like he told his stylist, I just want to feel comfortable and show up being me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you have more? I had nothing. What? He's, he's giving nothing. I'm giving nothing to him. Okay. It's a two-way street, Karen. You bring nothing. I bring nothing. Oh, no. Who is this? Camila oh, Cabello. No. Honestly, I think you're an asshole if you don't think this is fun. I think this is fun. I think it's funky fresh. <laughs> I and mean, if it, you have something nasty it, to say. I have nothing nasty to say about Camila Cabello. I, I think it's fun for spring. I mean, it's not what I would have chosen, but I do love myself some Camila Cabello. I think it's a really fun dress. Gosh, we're serving nothing with our reviews. Well, either. now I'm just like, is there going to be oh. Jared Leto serving my sleep paralysis demon? I can't. I hate it so much. <laughs> I know that he's done like this is probably a master craft of fashion, but it's something I hate. No, it's definitely sick. And the, I don't think the func- the purpose of the Met Gala is not to be like functioning glam. It's supposed to be this like it's supposed to be fucking stupid but i wish it was like this and also took my breath away because it was so sickening like, i'm this gonna doesn't... go ahead and say this takes my breath away and if it was anyone else but jared leto wearing it i wouldn't mock it what's your beef if with jared Card- leto i think he's a silly goose but if cardi what? b yeah <laughs> do you not think jared leto's a silly goose jared leto was at like a desert fucking getaway when the pandemic hit and came back and was like why is everything weird here well yeah i had be- no idea i mean he lives on a different planet just because he chooses to be there blissfully but i think whatever planet he lives on you don't age in 
Right. Like, no, he's, he's like beautiful. 80 and he looks younger than me. He's 50. And looks younger than me. <laughs> yeah. He definitely does look better than the two of us combined. But I do have this adult mm-hmm. acne that keeps me youthful. You I will give him that he is just truly himself. Like he'll do whatever he wants. And I feel as though he has no qualms about it. Like I wear pink pants and have nightmares about it. Right. And I don't think this man is losing sleep over looking like this and me talking about it. No. I mean, he doesn't know who we are. Okay. Janelle Monet. Ooh. I think she's serving fabulous realness. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, sparkly, glittery glam. It's definitely... I love the headdress. You know what? More than anything, I love her face. I love how this uh, complements her figure. Like, Mm -hmm. I feel like it hugs her in all the right places and then just droops just perfectly behind her. Yeah, drooping nicely. It's oh a good droop. Gosh. Sebastian Stan is a is little Is your of- nightmare. That is your nightmare look. Sebastian Stan is your sleep paralysis monster. And it's his real life. You know what I mean? Like I and, But like he doesn't seem to be having a bad time. He never seems to be having He's a bad time. He's serving blue you, steel confidence. Did you watch him promoting Tom and Pammy? No. He just is like somebody that He's just, he is this photo. He did a male witch movie in the early oddies that I thought made him a joke and did not realize until Pam and Tommy that he was an actual successful working actor because of it. He just exudes like, I have a big penis and I don't want to talk to anybody. Do you think he has a big penis? <laughs> I don't know because it was a prosthetic in the show, right. but that's the energy he gives. Or he's making up for the fact that he doesn't. Like, I, you'll never right. know. Like, it's one or the other. It's either like he has the biggest dick in the world, so like he's untouchable. Yeah. Or... I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Oh, our kidding. burgundy beauty glowing. Hillary Clinton. She looks good. She's also, what, 125? <laughs> yeah. Snatched to the gods. <laughs> I don't think she's ever going to not be with us. Gl- no, she won't die. She has horcruxes, too. I feel like she's going to be in one of those pods that will preserve her if for the If you want to take Hillary Clinton out, you got to go on at least a year and a half adventure with two of your best friends who might also end up married to each other, and you've got to destroy him with the sword of Gryffindor because you cannot take her down. You know, she is going to be the first woman president because she's going to be with us forever. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> God love her. Look at how cute she is. I mean, She's having a moment. <laughs> Would you say anything of hers isn't having a moment? No, she's hot as fuck. Stop zooming in. You're making me No, we gotta keep zooming in. She's so cute. Look at her. Are you gonna go flick your bean to this? Maybe. Or the photo of my balls on your I go home and fuck Joe, but I'm like, Hillary. (laughs) I'm like, get soft, babe. Make it different. (laughs) Alicia Keys' uh, photo doesn't do her justice. I did see this Oh, wow, the New York skyline. Yeah, when she was moving around, this glitters, this like shimmers like you wouldn't believe. That cape, though. And mommy's wearing makeup oh too. Oh my gosh. Yes, she is wearing makeup and she has like it's gorgeous. Stunning. Who's that? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, I don't know how to talk about a stranger. <laughs> I mean, you talk about the look. What is going on? I mean, I don't get it. I don't even know who this is. Who is it? I don't think we should talk about it. Gemma Chan. Oh, no. Oh, no. And you're telling me this is a fashion icon. Well, I mean, technically, people are always down with Sarah Jessica Parker. I was looking at a list of, like, best of all the years of the Met Gala, and Sarah Jessica Parker was in it wearing, like, a kilt. But um, this is very her. This is very Bridgerton. I'm never going to be big on, like, pink and black and white like that. What, Chris? Uh, Gemma Chan is an English actress. Born and raised in London. Uh, I think she was in Crazy Rich Asians and um, Eternals and Captain Marvel. Oh, so she's like a big deal. Yeah. I think so. When, big you're deal. In the, when you're in the Marvel movies, you're a big deal. I yeah. So. Um, I don't know. I can't co-sign Jer- Sarah Jessica Parker's look. Sarah Jessica Parker is serving super fancy fall dish rag. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Move your hand. I haven't seen it yet. Not your favorite oh, comedian. Oh, Amy is serving nothing. What do you mean? Look at her, dude. Nothing. I think she's not serving, a goddamn thing. No, she's serving. Uh, this is uh, the remains of Kim Kardashian's look from last year. No. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. The glasses, the black gown. It's Kim like, wasn't wearing glasses last year. Was she not? No, she had her whole fucking face covered. I don't know. I'm about to puke. Okay, but not on. because of Amy. I mean, I we got it. We got to hang up. Hang up. <laughs> okay, we're back with Amy right. Schumer, who's serving us nothing. 
Say about day three marker. <laughs> Why isn't she with her mans? Who is her mans? That chef guy? Yeah. Next. <laughs> wow. Grace Moretzi. What I is this? love it. Of course you do, because she looks like Timothy Chalamet last year. Oh my gosh, I love. She kind of lo- she's she serving- looks. She's want. She's like I wish I was JoJo vibes. No, she's serving Hayden Panettiere with the hair look, and then no, those are that's JoJo's hair, bro. No, but Hayden Panettiere served that hairstyle Say before JoJo. Pierre, are you saying Pitia? You know who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's just an interesting. Oh my gosh, I think this might be my favorite look of the night. I love that the the glamorous uh, blazer goes like. Down. She looks like JoJo fucking Siwa. This and is then, literally what JoJo's been wearing on stage for the past ten fucking years. I know, but for some reason, this feels elevated to me. <laughs> it feels like this is a movie star, and I love it is. But I love the way that the blazer ends with the flared pants, the heels, and the hair. Oh my gosh! I think I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I love it. Is she a lesbian? She must be with this look. Everybody's on a spectrum. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so this is Nick Jonas and his pregnant wife. This is Chloe's blazer gone wrong. Like this is like yeah. what could have happened to Chloe this and is, she's like thank god I missed that. This is Nick, This is Joe Jonas serving I wish I could wear a wedding dress but I'm not going to. But if I could I would. For some reason the Jonas brothers don't do it for me. And I'm sure they're great people, but like I think with just it wasn't our generation. From a fashion standpoint, it just like never feels full circle to me. But I don't Does it have to go full circle? I feel like it should. Like I feel like there's Where, three where's boys. Where's the beginning of the circle? I don't know. Like three boys that should be brothers that I should be like, "Oh my god, there's Well, they three are of brothers. Them. I don't know. I don't like it. And I'm I, not sure how they could complete the circle for you though. I'm okay. unclear on the assignment. <laughs> and really. I don't know what's going on with Sophie Turner. Well, she's pregnant. That has nothing to do with her outfit. Or that yeah i just hate all of it like and i'm sure they're lovely people i just hate the outfits and i'm sorry if it's like a designer i love that i wish i could work with i'm sure i wish i could be them honestly i do think that they are stunning people yeah and i do have to say i get the jonas brothers more and more their circle becomes complete for me whenever i see them on tiktok they're funny guys and maybe that's what's missing they're funny for me, little guys i don't consume their tiktoks yeah that's when i fell in love with harry styles too i just feel like this sophie turner character isn't real like i feel like is sophie she's turner a her real name or is that a character name <laughs> I don't know. It says Sophie Turner. Okay. I always thought that might be her Game of Thrones name. But doesn't she feel like she's part of the simulation in this? I honestly think if this is all part of a simulation, but it's like my simulation. And she honestly looks so picture perfect that maybe that's a compliment. She's flawless, stunning, like starving, she looks pregnant. They look, I mean, I, it's, the outfits aren't for me, but they, they look, look right. like a couple oh no oh emma i love her so much you know what emma's serving little girl at her first uh musical recital (laughs) i love her i love her so much Mm -hmm. the outfit's not my favorite it's not killing me softly it's uh it's not the shoes are the best part of the shoes are really cute the shoes are really cute slender little titties yeah let's focus on what we like i think it's cute i think it's cute I think it's cute. I'm going to land on it's cute. It's serving me married at City Hall. I love the hair, the makeup, and the shoes. I hate the dress. And it pains me to say that, honestly. Like, you know Emma's my favorite redhead. Can I start a fake news? She didn't even catch it. I did catch it, but I was... I want to solve. She's not even a real redhead, by the way, so it's extra offensive. Okay. Whatever. (laughs) Okay. I'm a lot of people's favorite redhead. If I'm not yours, I'm a lot of other people's favorite fucking redhead. redhead. Do you mean it? I mean it. Okay. (laughs) because <laughs> i was tearing up it's like i'm not feeling well either i've got norovirus just like the other girlies anyways is this something to joke about what is this that you're talking about norovirus oh we're all gonna die if you start vomiting tonight in four hours i'll fall and then he'll fall and it'll be bad it'll be bad probably for us for a really long time he might overcome it because he's got that parasite living inside him plus i have an autoimmune disorder okay were you gonna come full circle with something <laughs> i was just gonna start a rumor Okay, go for it. I think she's pregnant and hiding it. Oh. I'm making that up based off of nothing. <laughs> Next. <gasps> Vanessa Hudgens. Queen of the moment. Lottie da, Lottie day. I thought this was Nicole Schwarzinger when I first saw the photo. Oh. I don't know if I don't know what it is. Pussycat dolls? Pussycat dolls. Yeah. Um, I like 
it question mark like oh, i like it exclamation point like i don't like the vibe it's throwing at me oh i love the vibe it's throwing at you i think it looks fantastic and Absolutely. i think that it's well crafted head to toe the hair the jewelry the nails like i think it couldn't be more perfect mm. i just don't know if like, like i feel like she's gonna cast a spell on me and, he, I'm and here i'm never for going it. to like maybe she can cast the norovirus out of my body all of our bodies please vanessa hudgens if you can hear us right now at the met gala uh help help us i love this for her i love that she's really having a moment she the light is on her and she is shining and i hope it keeps shining bright for her uh, oh my god! the bell of the ball blake lively blake lively this is one of three looks there she uh evolves on the carpet she's as she makes like her way Lady Gaga. well apparently a lot of people do this but you and i missed it last year where they like enter the carpet and, and evolve shed layers. yeah yeah, so this is look one, stunning. And her man's Ryan Reynolds was wearing a brown velvet fucking suit. So cute on her arm. Mm. Just deep brown, almost black. Cute wow. as a few little buttons. I've come a long way with velvet. And I've got to say, I think uh, Ryan Reynolds is probably the best looking man of the night. Yeah. And he has that Blake lady on his arms. And they just couldn't look better together. They could not. Wow. Um. So then it turns into this. Which, Whoa. talk about a fucking moment. It's like she goes, whoosh, and then the river just flows out from her. And for people like you, my little Nora buddy, there's uh, pictures on here of the Zodiac constellations. <gasps> I was going to say I hated when it turned to blue, but now I'm um, living for it. Yeah, because you're, you're a campy queen yourself. Mm. Wow. A Zodiac girly. Very cool. Who's oh that? my gosh, Sean Mendez. Sean Mendez looking like beast in human form. Serving like I'm the captain of the ship, but I'm also too great to be the captain of the ship. I don't think he's real. He's a handsome boy. <laughs> I'm like literally gonna say that it's like he's like the men in black guy where it's like when he dies his face is gonna go and like push forward and open and swing and there's gonna be a tiny little alien in his brain who's like make sure the fucking universe is on orion's belt and then he's just gonna go i think he looks great yeah last year he did like the open shirt thing so this year he's like wearing a he's cold this year it's raining in new york yeah i mean he looks fantastic but when does he not beauty and the beast lucky That's for him I see right now he, he really looks like beauty and the beast beast and he could mode. honestly wear whatever he wanted yeah and look great super cute simulation guy oh and here's another angle of him being an npc good for him mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh who is this oh this is normani damn you know what since no one will ever see it that's what my abs look like <laughs> what do you mean that's what my abs look like nobody will see it prove it prove me wrong oh, that's what my abs i get look what like. you mean it's interesting it's bold i think it's great it's like high fashion meets fucking here it is you guys heard it here this is what i was hearing that night i shot here all night can you believe that wild <laughs> you just swipe away the man of the ball. Uh, Elon, Elon Musk. Cleaning up. He actually. Look who's behind him. Oh. Chris Jenner with a fucking like 70s shaggy look. Anyways, back to Elon Musk, who's serving me just classic elegance. For someone who's like a nerd at heart, I think he showed up for the event. You know, and, you know people, I don't think talk enough about how good his hair plugs are. Very good. Really good. Really nice hair plugs. Maybe on I should guy. call his doctor. We gotta zoom out. Oh, Kylie. Oh no. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no. Kylie and Chloe looking like she Chloe. threw a trash bag over Kim's dress. Yeah, Chloe is looking sensible and chic. God, I want to say something so nasty, but it's like I don't mean it. I'm just doing it for <laughs> shock value. I mean, Kylie is cooler than I will ever dream to be. Kylie's cool as fuck, but it's this is not it for me. Oh, I'm getting nauseous again. Oh, God, because she looks so stupid. <laughs> and we're Kylie lovers. Oh, we, I would fucking, I love Kylie like I love Hillary Clinton. Although she serves nothing on the Kardashians. She's giving me nothing right now, too. And it's, I feel like I look at what Chloe's wearing, and it's like, that's why she wasn't invited all those years. Oh, my gosh. Let's talk about how Chloe's invited. Congratulations. Congratulations, Chloe. Welcome to the party. <laughs> yeah, I hate Kylie's look. I'm just going to flat out say it. Yeah, it's stupid. It's one of the worst dressed of the night. Cool, though. Cool, Kylie. 
Chris Jenner, it's not for me. But I know you've had a hard week. It's been an emotional, why taxing Car- week. Why is Chris having a hard week? She just won her defamation lawsuit. She had lawsuit. to relive the trauma of right, her son. Right, that is awful. Like, it's been I a think, lot. I think you're wrong. I think Chris looks gorgeous. I don't think she doesn't look you're gorgeous. fucking what's-his-butt serving you banana realness and she's not? She's actually wearing a yellow. Mm. Mm. He's a Chris hater. I, no, I'm not a Chris hater. We love Chris. We love Chris looks fucking great. I love Chris. And I love that she's doing the flip out with her hair. You know, it's actually sensible. Yeah. The more I'm looking at it, the more I'm liking it. Because yeah. had she done like a She's figure... like a hot Jackie Onassis. Yeah. Is this almost done? I'm literally yeah, going to Yeah, look at how stupid they look. I can't with these two. Courtney and, and Travis looking dumb. Mm. <laughs> You know, and I was like, did you see them at the open house on the Kardashians? Yeah. So he stupid. put her up on his lap. Yeah. Put her butthole inside. <laughs> I feel like put I his cock in sucked. her butthole crevice. <laughs> like no, I- listen, listen, it's on top. He has his fucking dick shaft in her asshole crevice and he's grabbing around and hugging and touching her boobs. And I'm like, A, any man would get hard doing that. And B, you're at a fucking open house where the realtor's right behind you. It's too I much. I don't think he actually put his dick <laughs> shaft in her butt like hot No, there's buns. no way. Like if you're sitting, if you... His dick was in his pants. The way you're saying it sounds like his dick was out of his pants. It's still her... sitting there though. Okay, um, another of Kylie and... What's the... Chloe. Yeah. That's enough from them. And also, not into this Billie Eilish look. I'm glad she looks like the daughter from Beetlejuice. I I'm, can't remember her name. I'm glad it's just not some huge black ensemble that she, that's over consuming her life. Right. So she did something different and I think good for her. Yeah, I think she's a beautiful woman and I hate that dress. <laughs> and that's going to wrap up our Met Gala fashion review. Yeah, I'm going to go home and wait for the Noro to hit. Uh, <laughs> I'm literally... I, when you were talking about Travis's dick in the butt, I swear to God, I felt your... Sorry, I felt your breath enter my mouth no, no. and it's like it's i could moment. not be more upset because it's like when i like i just that's the that's when i know it's like the that's, she when got the, that's when the noro hit and it's hitting me in waves oh my god okay i think we have to go i'm so sorry if this was uncomprehendable today please forgive me i have noro and <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I like don't know if I want you to touch my leg right now. Okay, go. You need to go cleanse your life. You it's guys, too late for me. I sucked your breath podcast. in. We're all on social media at the Sip Official. I'm also on there personally, as are my co-hosts. Shane's podcast is also coming out this week. I will feature it in my featured channels below. It's also on iTunes or anywhere you get podcasts. I love you guys very much, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye. And that's the sip. Oh, <laughs>